glossy magazines that are mirror images of the other, but one glorifies the caliphate, the other shows its violence. We're using uh, a template uh, and a, a, a medium uh, that has been incredibly successful in the jihadosphere, and by taking them back, you can end the legacy. That's Jesse Morton. Morton was once al-Qaeda's chief American propagandist and creator of Jihad Recollections, the first jihadi propaganda magazine. But having renounced violence, Morton now promotes a counter-narrative through his new magazine called Ahul Taqwa. And so what we've done is we've, rather than show pictures of people killing as if it's a good thing, we'll have pictures of people dead in the street where there's a baby doll sitting beside the body bag. The 39-page publication rivals Jihadi magazines in production quality, but offers a very different vision of Islamic State. In a letter from the editor, Morton writes, Ahul Taqwa seeks not to kill these individuals, but to kill their false ideas and ideals. Morton's partner in the venture is Mitch Silver, a former intelligence director for the New York Police Department. Clearly, the message, the idea of ISIS, ISIS, the movement is still out there, even if ISIS, the organization, ISIS, the physical caliphate, has taken a beating. Today, Morton and Silver run Parallel Networks, a group that works to de-radicalize former jihadis and other extremists. Ahul Taqwa is their brainchild. So we thought in order to challenge that message, um, not only did the message need to be crafted, but it needed to be sent out in a way, in a medium, that people who are attracted to the ISIS uh, ideology might also take a look at. While the new publication has prompted civil discussion, it's also led to death threats against its creators. For Masood Farivar, Milar Sega, VOA News, Washington.